Hey guys, welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Today we are doing a November plan with me. I haven't done a monthly plan with me since August because babies, um, specifically one baby. Before we get started, I wanted to show you something I'm not using today, but this was just released by my summer touch and I think it's super cool and I'm kind of bummed that I won't get a chance to use it. You know what? Maybe I will and maybe you'll have already seen it on my Instagram. Um, I'm thinking, because I do need to set up the week before November starts. This is a new weekly fold outs and it's just pretty cool. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the colors, but I wanted to print it out in color to show you anyway. I generally will print out her inserts um, black and white just because, you know, I like to be able to set my color scheme myself. But um, I, I like everything that's able to fit in here. So you've got room here for like your schedule or for timed things. Um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then weekend. And then here, um, you have Saturday and Sunday separate for to-do lists. Honestly, I think I would probably prefer to have the timed part split and then the to-do lists, just one to-do list for the weekend. That's the way I think about my day. So I might actually put a time ladder here and have my weekend to-do list here or something like that. I know it would be weird to try to rearrange it, but I just think that this is a really cool and utilitarian um, spread. I, I like what she does with fold outs. So this is from my summer touch. Um, I'm not sure what I would do with this section. This is similar to uh, one of her undated dailies. I believe it's called like the Kanban method one, which I'm not sure how to use the Kanban method with it either, even though she does have a video on her channel trying to explain it. I wasn't paying enough attention. And then over here you have a sideways habit tracker with lots of room for all sorts of habits probably more than I need, but you could also use it for, um, you know, tracking and working on projects or use it for the Alistair method to-do list. Um, that's always a great way to use a nice big habit tracker. And then over here, I would think would probably be for some, I would probably use this for some um, priorities for the week or maybe like videos and content that I need to create <laughs> or whatever. Um, so, you know, I might actually use this for the last week of October. So if I have already done that, you can check my Instagram below where I always post pictures of my weeklies. Anyway, what we're doing today is setting up my November monthly. And I've decided this month, I haven't used the month weeklies from my summer touch in forever. I figured why not actually use them as a monthly and a weekly, which I've never done before. So this is what I'm going to do. Um, I'm basically going to have it set up for my monthly and that it's a vertical monthly, which is a little bit mm, something I'm not used to, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot instead of moving stuff over all the time. I think I will have my um, time specific or date specific to do's listed here and then um, use the extra space um, over here for you know, little dailies if I need to. So I'm gonna open up here my future log and pull out all of the things that are uh, like from, yeah, for November. <laughs> Okay, so here's what I've got so far. Um, it's my birthday this month, so I picked my favorite color, which is green, as my sort of theme for the month. Um, and then this is where uh, these this is where I'm putting um, the like to do list for each week. This one is kind of weird and short, but I kind of want to leave space wherever it's like open for some little daily to do lists if I, I feel like I need it. And then I'm also going to hang on to some stickers, you know, in my 
back pocket like these and these because we are going to be traveling for Thanksgiving but I don't know when I'm going to participate in the governor approved um, three family maximum get together for the holiday um, and then basically now I just have to go through uh, let's see my recurring tasks So that's basically everything set up. It folds together nicely like this, with some spare pages at the back, and I will print out a photo to put on the front here. And then I think, this is the, oh, you know what, we'll take that out for now. So the month and weekly is going to go in the front. The October, obviously it's not in here. These things here that normally are in the front, I'm going to put in the next section. These are like to-do lists type things. So I might actually move some other things to here and sort of actually rearrange my tabs for the first time in forever. And then these are the weeklies that I've been in. So I'm not actually gonna move a lot of this stuff just yet because I'm still kind of in that week between months, but um, that is the plan and you will see more of that when I do my flip through sometime later this month. But that's what we've got. Uh, if you have any questions about this, you know, go ahead and give, leave those in comments and any ideas or whatever. And I will see you guys in the next one on Sunday. Until then, have a great week. Bye.